Hi guys, the motor that you see here is a universal motor which can run on both AC and DC power supply, hence the name universal motor. Now the companies that manufacture it do the wiring in such a way that it can only be operated as a motor with an input supply of 220 volts AC or DC for India and 110 volts AC or DC for the US. So in this video I am going to do a very simple modification so that instead of using it as a motor we can use it as a powerful generator and the best part is that we all have this motor in our houses. So where is it? It's in mixers, fruit juicers, drill machines, angle grinders and dremels. So guys this motor has two field windings this and this which are making two holes and one armature winding which is on the shaft and you can see the brushes and the commutator that are for powering up the armature winding of the shaft okay so in total you will see six wires two wires for one field winding two wires for the other field winding and the remaining two wires for the armature winding so in order to convert this motor into a generator what I'm going to do is connect the field windings in parallel so these are the two wires from the field pole of this and these are the two wires from the field pole of this so I'm going to connect it in parallel so this is a big black wire I'm going to connect it to the smaller one okay you can see it is connected yeah this is the field wire from one side it's connected to the field wire on the other side and now the remaining two wires will be connected together the field wire from this side will be connected to the field wire on this side okay so the two have been connected now what you have to do is simply give a small input supply to these two terminals and when you will rotate this shaft you will get an output voltage and current on these two terminals so I'm going to do that so these are the two wires from a charger so I'm just going to measure the output voltage of these two wires okay so you can see that it is just 5.30 volts which is for charging your cell phones okay and it doesn't matter which polarity you are going to connect it connect it either ways it will work as a generator okay so you have to connect this input supply to the field winding okay remember that don't connect it to the brushes so field winding okay this is the other wire you can see that it is sparking so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to switch off the charger okay I switched it off now it is not okay now it is not discharging okay so I've given the input supply now all we have left are two wires which are the output wires so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect a 3 watt LED bulb okay switch something like this now I'm going to switch on the supply and when I will turn the shaft it should rotate you can see that at present it is not glowing there is no light okay now I have switched on the supply now when I will rotate it it will start glowing you can see since it's generating DC output so it will work only in one direction I am rotating in this side but it is producing the voltage in opposite polarity so the bulb will not glow but when I will rotate it in the counterclockwise then it is glowing which means that the output of the universal water is DC
yeah it is really bright so this is how it will work as a generator now let's do the generated voltage measurement with the help of a multimeter yeah the wires have to be a bit longer and guys just see this technique of scissors place it like this and do it like this and then it is removed same as with this one place it here do it like this and then remove the insulation now this scissor trick video has been provided in the link above you can watch it by clicking on it okay so the wires have been connected multimeter is like this now I will point it towards the DC modes 200 volts I am going to rotate the shaft and let's see the generated voltage on the multimeter screen oh sorry the polarity was wrong this black wire has to be connected here in common so it's connected now it's perfect now you should see the generation of voltage okay you can see it is generating 7.8 7.7 6.6 .7, yeah around 9 volts let's see what maximum I could do ten volts ten point six and with a simple hand spin it is generating around ten volts okay now I'm going to do the current measurement okay so yeah it is pointing towards the ten amperes current mode I have to remove this red pin and connect it to the upper terminal. Okay, so everything is correct. You saw that I just produced 1.09 amperes. So guys, that's all for this video. Please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.